So let's talk about chicks, man. Chicks, man. Ladies nah. and gentlemen, please welcome. <laughs> I'm having fun, guys. Today's a good day. What's going on, guys? Uh, in case you don't know me, my name is Music Major. Welcome to my channel. That is Ricardo Rodriguez. And that can only mean one thing. Alberto Del Rio is going to make his way to the ring. But today, I actually will talk about Alberto Del Rio a little bit. But the main thing for this video is... CM Punk and why the WWE needs him. There was a period in time where CM Punk, uh, you know, needed the WWE, but that's not the fact anymore. Uh, the WWE, in fact, in, in my opinion, to stay viable, needs somebody like CM Punk, a talent like him. He's the answer to every problem that internet fans had with wrestling for many years. He's not a bodybuilder. He's covered with tattoos, and he speaks regardless. Speaks his mind regardless of if it will get him fired. I've had mad respect for him, uh, mainly ever since I've learned about his Ring of Honor days and how he toured the independent scene. Had a nice run with uh, TNA, and uh, he was Ring of Honor's top guy, as I mentioned. And uh, WWE took, you know, immediate notice. I feel like since he's exited. After WrestleMania, WWE has not been the same. If I pause my rant here for a second, you'll notice I edited it in Jack Swagger's new music because I can't stand his music that he had before him. And I think his new music is awesome. And that's all for So you can't really, you know, fall into that. Sorry. But anyway, getting back to Punk done basically everything that there is to do in WWE. He's been one of three men to hold the WWE version of the WCW title, uh, the World Heavyweight title, and the WWE title. His list of accolades is just mind-blowing. Who can forget the record-breaking record title reign that uh, ended not too long ago? Swagger. Been the first Slowly man to win two are. money in the what bank matches back-to-back. Jack uh, the pipe bombs, of course, headlock. and, you know, so many matches that he's delivered, and I think, personally, the oh privilege gosh, that I've no had to watch the man did. wrestle, I think actually, to date, I think his match with The Undertaker at WrestleMania was probably the best watch match it, I've ever seen CM Punk wrestle. It wasn't the prettiest one textbook-wise, but I think it was an awesome match nonetheless. Shot to Alberto. You know, and I just think he can come back Swagger's extremely arrogant, with, but there's no doubt you know, that the All-American I, I can like back how he's up everything relatable. he says. He you said know, it he was on NCAA Talking Dead not too long ago, in one season. Uh, and he's just, he's one of us. That's, I think, what makes him so relatable is he is just like everyone else. Swagger, Doesn't proceed to live up. a rich lifestyle, you know, he enjoys the fame to some extent, you know, but... I think the thing about Jack Swagger and his approach to sports entertainment is he's deceivingly he's going big to be and deceivingly powerful. Well, thinking about taking close more to time off and already and 265 really pounds. Not the case. He's so young, you, you know, know he's going to get uh, bigger as I the years go on. I have on. a couple theories. My main theory that I'm sticking with and that I'm telling people is I think CM Punk will come back. I think this Sunday at Extreme Rules. I have a the Shield will sweep that these guys the tag team title match to the win and, and just the United States title match, ahead. thus making them a pretty that and better turning his chest to deep purple. Um, I think I so see those I believe to that they head. will be just a dominating display. searching for yeah. a leader. I think and we much like CM Punk came in with here. Wade Barrett and, there's the uh, and over to Wade Barrett American -American. for the Nexus, I believe CM Punk may become a part of the Shield. I'm not saying that anything that I've been reading. But uh, we'll see. It's interesting. We're in the WWE is just very different here. without him. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? I think he control. might also possibly wow. be with Paul Heyman. I wouldn't be surprised to see Talk that about happen. An immovable but object. like I said, that's the thing about WWE. That, the beautiful thing about it is it's very, right very unpredictable. And out of the match that you're seeing here, and I don't have much time to talk about it, I feel like they're killing the Jack Swagger Del Rio rivalry. They killed it ever since the night WrestleMania, uh, or ever since Monday night after WrestleMania. They've had them wrestle, I believe by my count, at least six times, maybe five. I don't understand the rivalry at all or anything like that. I get it's for the World Heavyweight title, but if I'm WWE and I'm ahead of, you know, if I'm Stephanie McMahon, I'm thinking about 
kind of tweaking this storyline because it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Let's take a look back at some of the big highlights. But anyway, guys, my name is Music Major. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. We will see you next time. Thanks so much for tuning in. Talk to you later.